Blimey, it was chilly this morning. My Christ. Ooh. Don't really think you can see out there. I don't think it's minus outside, but my gum, it looks like it. <laughs> anyway, good morning from Kilgarren. That's the name of the place. Kilgarren view point and picnic area, I think is exactly where we are. Dead quiet in the Welsh Valleys here. Couldn't have asked for a better night's sleep. Woke up to it being, I think it was 10 degrees inside the van. And we're now on 20.5. So that'll do just nicely. Whoever invented the diesel heater, salute to you, sir or lady. But first things first in the morning, I'm gonna get a brew on the go and then we'll start thinking about what we're gonna do for the day. But stick with me. We've got some great places to look at around Pembrokeshire. Fishguard, St. David's, White Sands Beach. We've got a good day planned, but I need a cuppa. Oh, I'll tell you what, sat in bed. Diesel heater on. It's chilly outside. This is what I love. Probably second to the summer side of the camping with obviously the camper van. But coming out, when the temperatures drop slightly, you've just woken up in the morning, it's chilly outside, but you're nice and toasty in here. You really can't beat it. I don't know how much you can see out there, but that's the river and the valley below us. The first initial plan for today was to go somewhere else and cook up some breakfast. So I think we're still gonna do that. I think we'll go to a different park up, show you somewhere else. I'll put the what three words down here to this place if you guys fancy it, I'd recommend it. Um, certainly wouldn't recommend it for large vans though. I would say anything bigger than a Vivaro or Traffic or whatever, um, don't come down here. Uh, I think you'll struggle to get down. I think you'll struggle even more to get back up, which is what I'm kind of dreading a little bit. That steep decline that we came down yesterday um, is really worrying me with the weather that we've got and with the flood water that's coming down that street, we've got to then go up that street. Although nothing's flooded around here, I don't know, just uh, not got a lot of confidence with the surface at the moment, but um, wish us luck, fingers crossed. He is up. He is up. Good morning. Normal get up time. What time is it? Half past eight. Oh, it's early for me. No, no, I'm only joking. <laughs> You've done four hours. <laughs> so this is morning at Kilgarren Park picnic park and river and the river's come up quite a significant amount since last night but as you can see it's still a fair few meters off where we are after sipping the last of my morning tea it was time to leave this beautiful autumn park up and make our way to newport beach to cook up some much needed breakfast Welcome to Newport Beach. Now, who on earth would be mad enough to go surfing in this weather? <laughs> Them mad bastards, that's who. <laughs> Crazy. But I guess the weather's for it. There's some choppy waves and uh, yeah, they're out having fun. So not everywhere in the UK is completely destitute at the moment. People are out having fun. There's absolutely beautiful views here around the rocks and the cliff edge. And we've got a little tiny hint of sunshine just coming over the hill there in the distance. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. When I saw the paint display machine and the signs coming in, I thought, oh my goodness, we're going to be absolutely hammered here. But pleasantly surprised to see, up to an hour, a quid, up to two hours, two pound. It shouldn't be more complicated than that. Up to 30 minutes, free. Still take a ticket from the machine though. I'll put the what three words down here if you guys wanna come here. This is what it looks like in the summer. <laughs> so a lot nicer than today. 
but I think the accompaniment of the crashing waves with the cheap parking makes this the perfect spot to come and have a wander if it's a bit warmer or cook up some breakfast like we're doing today. Ah, just as we arrive, ah, the heavens open up. Of course they do. Oh. Let's have a look. What you got in that cupboard then? Mate, I've got a, a whole world of treats. It's not bad, mate. When you've got a sideboard like this, is it? Yeah, yeah. I, I, thought you were, I thought you were nuts putting this in, but actually, look at Storage is everything though, isn't it? Yeah, um, it is, hey. yeah. 100%. I mean, this unit here, although yes, it takes up a significant chunk of the camper van, it has everything I need. Yeah. I've got four drawers, I've yeah. got two massive cupboards here. Yeah. Everything that I need to store for camps. Yeah is within this unit. Yeah. Oh, I tell you what. What? Kudos to Lidl. When they say thick cut, they mean yes, thick is, cut. Yeah. Oh, look at that, mate. That is thick coming on now. Um, that is right, coming on. Put a bit of sauce of yours, mate. Sauce it up, mate. Yeah, what do you want? Um, a bit of ketchup? Ketchup. Ketchup yeah. will be fine, thank you very much. Right, I'll let you do the squirty on us. You want some bacon with that sauce, mate? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Looks like a hot dog with Amazon sauce <laughs> in there. Crikey! Oh, look at this. Hey, you you cooking look your at snacks? This, yeah. what we... Look at this, mate. Oh, oh, look at the blood if in there. If I can, if I'm I can get it. One. Right, here we go. Ah, uh, just, just. That's one, two. Right, mate. Wrap it in some foil, cause. Um, I'll have it when you eat yours. No, no, carry oh, on. I want, okay, I, want you to have, I want you to have a you bite. Some, like... Is it Michelin star worthy? Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Definitely. Either Michelin or Goodyear, whichever. <laughs> <laughs> with the three litres of sauce that you've yeah. used. What's the cheese like with that bacon? Mm -mm. That sounds fake. <laughs> <laughs> Is the cheese a nice accompaniment with it? Yeah. I was a little bit skeptical on the cheese yesterday. No, the cheese is nice. It really, it just gives it a little tiny tang. Does it? Mm. Does it? Oh, that's good. That's good. Fuck. Oh, no! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Right, that can stay in for a bit longer. <laughs> it's going to clean up. Let, the let's burn off the bacteria. <laughs> Should we try again? Attempt number two. To flip some flipping bacon. Now, people might say in the comments, right, Brendan, you've got a ridge monkey. Why don't okay. you flip the ridge monkey? Because it well, comes out there, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I don't know if you've noticed this as well with yours, yeah. but these seals on the side, they're not exactly 100%. So when you turn a particularly fatty food, like a burger or a piece of bacon, you are much more likely to drip fat all down your pan. Well, the weather's, uh, I don't know, would you say it's perked up a little bit? Yes. Well, I didn't drop it the second time. Mmm. That smoked cheese really does yeah, go well, it doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It's a very little mm. tiny to it. Oh. Well, that's breakfast out of the way. Maybe we can dramatise this a little bit. Okay, I'll yeah. tell you what, I'll do a nice... Okay. Uh... I'll, put, I'll put some wind noise on this. Yeah. All right, okay. No, you don't want the park park, you want it in oh, here. Okay. It needs to look like a cliff edge. Go on, okay, all right, okay. Ready? Yeah. Newport Beach, we got the waves rustling in the back, the wind is coming down now, we're going to take a little wander on the beach just for five minutes, I don't think see how we, we get should, on, then we're going to we get back should. to the back, I don't think we should, it's a bit too dangerous, but to get the shot, we're going to try and do it, come with me, come on, no! Come on. <laughs> yeah. At least it's solid underfoot, that's the main thing. And that, in the distance, is where they filmed Balamori. Now, because of the weather and because of my laziness, can someone leave a comment below if there's any walking routes around here that you can go and explore? I think you can probably walk along the entirety of the beach there and go up towards the houses. Maybe that over there is Newport, possibly, the little town of Newport. What do you think? Do you think that there in the distance, do you think that's Newport? <laughs> 
Yeah, I think we're expecting it to be like Newport Shropshire, aren't we? Well, it's, but it's, it's probably just a stopping like, point. It is that, yeah. Probably. Maybe we should probably head off to Fishguard then. Yeah, let's go do the big one. Let's go do Fishguard. Yeah. I think that's a, a stopping point or a, quite a, a synonymous place to go in Pembrokeshire. So it'll be Fishguard and St. David's, and then uh, we'll be cooking up something tonight at tonight's park up. And you know what? We're winging it tonight. On the itinerary, if you want to call it that, we did have a potential stopover at a campsite, but I think we're going to wild it again. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think we're going to wild it again tonight. So wherever we end up, around St. David slash White Sands Beach, park for night, whatever's closest. Or do you know what? If somewhere takes our fancy, if we see somewhere and yeah. go, yes. You know, I'd rather be miserable in a, in a nice place rather than be miserable on a patch of grass somewhere in the yeah. middle of a campsite. Yeah, that you've had to pay 45 quid for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Much yeah. better to be free in it. Yeah. <laughs> it's better. Freedom, freedom. <laughs> That's what you get with a camper van. Off to fish guard. up to two hour free customer parking. That's worth buying something from the cult, I think, just for the free parking. Bag of sweets, maybe, chocolate eclair. Mm, nice little treat to go with our journey to Fishguard. That's my parking ticket. Two cinnamon swirls. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad, is it, for a parking ticket? <laughs> minimum, minimum purchase. So I think we have a little wander around Fishguard now. Can I interest you in a cinnamon swirl as well? Would no, you like I'm one? all right, thank you. You're okay, are you? No, I'm And good. then we're going to try and find the harbour. Apparently the harbour's about, well, the chap in the cop said five minute drive. Dri drive? But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see well, how we get on. We're going to walk back up there anyway, yeah. go into the town centre, nibble on a cinnamon, cinnamon swirl, and uh, yeah, go and explore Fishguard for a little bit. And as we make our way into the town, here's a quick mention from today's video sponsor. Water Drop, and this is their A1 reverse osmosis hot and cold water dispenser. It has a six stage deep filtration system that can purify your hot and cold water in one unit. It has a dual UV steriliser in addition to removing sediment, rust, large particles, odour and chlorine from your drinking water. Filter installation is really simple, removing the top cover exposes the filters for an easy twist in and twist out install. It's got six different temperature settings ranging from five to 95 degrees. So in these cold winter days, I can get an instant cup of tea without having to boil the kettle. And when summer comes back round and it can't come quick enough, it's gonna be lovely getting some ice cold drinks out of the A1. Now the house where I live in my hometown of Shrewsbury was built pre-World War II. So the plumbing and pipe work in this house is coming up to over hundred years old. And I can definitely taste the difference in water quality between the tap and the A1. Now easily the biggest benefit to me and my family is only having to boil the water that you want to use at that time. I haven't got to boil a whole kettle full of water just to have a cup of tea and wait multiple minutes for it to boil. It instantly boils to 95 degrees so I can have a hot drink whenever I like, what time of day, and I'm also feeling positive about the long-term health benefits of drinking purified water. Initial setup and cleaning is really simple and easy to read in a well laid out booklet that comes with the system. It houses a large capacity water tank that you can fill up directly from the tap and also comes with a rather handy, removable, magnetic, easy to clean drip tray. And if you have young children at home like I do, it also comes with a handy lock feature to save yourself pouring out any boiling water unintentionally. Additionally, this hot and cold water system got me thinking about the possibilities of installing one in a larger van one day. Some water van systems can range into the thousands and this could be a budget friendly solution to have hot and cold water Water at the touch of a button. I'm going to leave a link in the description below to the Water Drop website where they have a wide range of water dispensers and filters to suit all budgets. They're also currently holding their annual Christmas sale where you can get hundreds of pounds off new water filtration systems like this one. A big thank you to Water Drop for sponsoring today's video. Now back to Pembrokeshire. So this is, I suppose, what you would call the town centre maybe. Not really much to see here. You've got a little church over there, St. Mary's Church. There's your town hall. Yeah, not really a, a huge amount going on in Fishguard. I was expecting a bit more hustle and bustle of the town slash village slash city or whatever Fishguard is. You've got a barber's there. The co-op where we parked is just up that road there. You've got a few cafes, a fish and chip shop, plenty of pubs more pubs than you can throw a stick at really but uh yeah the town hall of fish garden i think um we're going to try and find the harbor 
and I think Steve's best guess. Give us a wave. Filming me, filming you. Aha. <laughs> Steve's best guess is uh, down that road there. All right, so, ladies. Bye -bye. Thank you for the little chat and the info. Appreciate it. So uh, yeah, a bit of an update there from a couple of local ladies going about their business. Just asked them about a fish guard and what they think and uh, a bit of a, I suppose a bit of a dire outlook really with fish guard. We just walked down one of the main streets down towards I suppose what you'd call this the square or town centre maybe. I was a little bit shocked. I thought yeah. it was going to be a much bit bigger well, vibrant yeah, place. Well yeah, because on the map fish guard is a main yeah. like point yeah. isn't it? It is a, uh, what, a landmark yeah. I suppose you'd call it on a map. But yeah. uh, just walked down one of the main roads just up here. And a lot of what once was independent shops on the side now closed. It's mainly a lot of charity shops, apparently, which is a synonymous sign with a dying town, isn't yeah, it? You know, absolutely. A lot of these charity uh, places, not to say that they don't do a good job, of course, but they use their charity status to get cheaper rent or no rent at all. Yeah. Whereas an independent business would struggle to get on the high street. But our journey today will take us down to... The Harbour. What did she say it was called? The Harbour, but what else? What was the, what was the actual official name? <laughs> That's the one. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have a look at the harbour. But yeah, a lot of these places now, it's a, uh, yeah, just a little bit, like you said, mate, when we were talking to you, a bit heartless, isn't it? Heartless is the word, yes. Yeah. Look at that. What a lovely place to have your garden. A couple of chairs and tables there as well, looking out over to the ocean. Yeah, that, that looks beautiful, that does. <sighs> Take it all in. That smell. There they go. Off to Ireland. See you later. Are you asking two random blokes to come in the water with you? I, I know they're friendly here, but... Are you asking two random blokes to come in the water? It's all women, isn't it? I think it might be. Yeah. Yeah. Then again, cold water swimming is a thing. It, is. it rejuvenates the uh, libido. <laughs> <Is that it? laughs> Slows down the menopause, I'm here. <laughs> a classic sign it's a of a, a once look, thriving high street. Yeah. All the flowers are dead. Very sad to see. This was a garage at some point, West Street garage or something, I don't know. Yeah. Some kind of shop, now gone. Also gone, whatever that was. Fish guard, the people have treated us well. Just sad to see the high street the way it is, but uh, now we're off to St. David's. We're gonna go look at White Sands Beach. And then once we visited St. David's and try and get an accompaniment for tonight's meal, maybe a pudding possibly, got a bit of a sweet tooth on me at the moment, then we'll try and find tonight's park up. So stick with us as we go forward to St. David's. So here we are in the seaside, don't know what to call it. Is it a town or is it a city? I did see a sign saying city center. So is St. David's a city? while Steve harasses the locals. This is a city. It is definitely a city. Hang on, what's going on here? Hang on, I've got a bit of conjecture here. What? We've got conflicting information. Yeah. We've got City Hall. Yeah. And then we've got a plaque saying best kept small town. Um, what does it say? 
Okay, so this sign here says, uh, I can't read Welsh, <laughs> unfortunately, but it says 1989 best kept small town in the district. Load of rubbish. Okay. I will pick up on that on my day. Okay. That's interesting. But, but it does also say something Welsh up here as well. Whether that is just that in Welsh, I don't know. Uh, spell it, okay, so uh, <laughs> I've, got, I've got to try and say Welsh now no, no, in no, front no, of a no, native no, Welsh speaker. Say, say, say it in English. Okay, okay, here we go. <laughs> Come on, okay, I could offend the whole nation here in, in one minute. Right, okay, so Tref, Fak, Dak, Klusaf, what, Dos, I don't know. I know. <laughs> Little did I know, the lady I was speaking to was a former mayor of St. David's, a local celebrity nonetheless, and she was kind enough to walk us down to the cathedral. City, I'm sure you call it a city, would have such an impressive cathedral with what I can only describe as a huge organ. Now, I didn't see any historic plaques on the outside. I'm sure there is some, but I've missed them. But if anybody knows the history of St. David's Cathedral, please leave it in the comments below because I'd be very interested to know. This is probably one of the uh, best hidden finds although it's not hidden, or best surprises, should I say, that I've had along my journeys. There's no way that's on proof we'll record. We'll find out, we'll find out. We'll check it's connected to Bluetooth on someone's phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, somebody's good at playing. Uh, play the shine again, we be honest. <laughs> wow. I've said it before, some of the most unexpected locations end up being the best. What an absolutely beautiful, picturesque little city. And it is a little city that St. David's is. I did see a, a parking sign that just went past about charging for parking, 20 quid for motor or something stupid. But uh, I don't think you can stay here tonight, but what a place it would be if you could. Look at this. Yes, I did. That looks promising. I drove Level past it. Well. Is that is that a golf there's course a camp, though? No, but there's a camper van on there. I saw the camper on there, right next to White yeah, Sands campsite. That's worth having a look at. It's worth having a look yeah. at. Maybe it's on park for night. Yeah, we drove past a little spot yeah. that had one camper van on it, just perched on top of a grass mound, and we thought that could be the spot that we stayed tonight. Hey, here's a question for you right here. What? How is that vehicle disabled compliant, right? All the times he's got to spend underneath that van fixing it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? How on earth? <laughs> Good old VW there. How much do you reckon he's paid? 85k? Yeah. Do you know what he's thinking? He's a, do you know what he's thinking? <laughs> no offence to this chap, right? It's just a quick, quippy comment that I thought yeah. about, right? Okay. He's going. I told you, Margaret, this van will be worth every penny of that 85k. <laughs> Everyone's looking at it. <laughs> I know I'm going to get some hate from the VW lovers in the comments there. 50 year old van. Dubbers, they call them, don't they? Dubbers, they dubbers. Have all, they have their That's own meters, V dubs, V dubs. Anyway, we jest. Uh, we don't mean any of it. Um, seriously, we don't mean any yeah, of it. We just haven't laughed. If, you, if you've got a problem with it, don't leave any comments. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, this is. White Sands Beach. White Sands. So this is our last stop of the evening. We have, we have spotted a little place at the top of the road there uh, where we saw another camper van perched on top of a grass hill. 
Whether that's going to be where we stay tonight, there was a lady up at the cake shop, I believe, who said there is a similar place that looks just like that, where people stay, where there is a sign saying no overnight camping, um, but where it's frowned upon. Whether it's something where maybe only the locals are allowed to do it, I don't know, but we'll have a look. We're also gonna have a look on Park for night as well, see what's local to here. Maybe that spot's even on there, who knows? But for tonight's tea, I'm gonna be eating a chicken, chicken Chinese stir fry. And then for pudding, I've got the lemon cake. And I think I might have a little chomp of this salted caramel block slice slab thing now, just to get the appetite warmed up. And then, yeah, you thinking of uh, going to find a park up now then? I think it's time, because we gotta get, we gotta do the old cooking, haven't we? And get all that, we're cooking yeah, separately gotta, tonight. Gotta fill the bellies, yeah. What yeah. are you having for dinner tonight? I'm having fish and chips, right? with a slice of lemon and maybe some tartar sauce. You've got, you got tartar sauce and a slice of lemon mate, in your I van? I my own tartar sauce, mate. Ugh. Your Lenore bottle doesn't come in handy for that, <laughs> does it? <laughs> anyway, let's go find tonight's park up. Right, so we just had a look at park for night and unfortunately that first place that we thought was gonna be a goer isn't anymore. It's parking only for the golf course customers, so only for posh people. <laughs> so, after having a little look on Park for Night, we found another potential spot that's only 11 minute drive away at an old abandoned disused airfield, apparently. Let's go give it a try. Hopefully we've got some signal there as well. And then we'll start thinking about cooking up dinner. Let's hit the road and fingers crossed, this park up is the one. Your destination is on the left. Is that it? In here maybe? Well, here we are at an old Royal Air Force place. Right, this is quite all right, yeah. What did it say on your map? Royal Air Force St. David something. St. David's Royal Air Force or something. Yeah, there's a nice little walkway down there. That's where we're parking for the night. St. David's Airfield, that's what it's called. Have you heard of a Skylark sing? Where Halifax engines once roared, now Skylarks make their nests and insects hum in the hay meadows. Look at that lovely view there, with the mountains in the distance, the moody clouds. Oh, good spot this. I'm going to leave the what three words down here for you guys as well if you fancy it. I would definitely recommend this as a spot to come and have a little night's kip. Here you are, Steve. Oh, mate. I've got, oh, I was going to say, I've got, I've got one as well. Oh, you've got the posh stuff, mate. I've got the Kofferberg stuff, Thanks, yeah. Thanks, mate. You're welcome, buddy. Um, Let's cheers to the end of a lovely day, to a good dinner in yeah, a good park up good. with a lovely skyline. Yeah, mate, we're all right. We're yeah. going to be having a Chinese chicken stir fry kit. I've got that. I don't really, I think it's a lot of spring onion and pepper, I think, with a sauce in there somewhere, with a bit of chicken, and I'm going to add just a couple of, I don't know, egg noodles. I'm not going to use the whole bag this time. Last time I cooked a stir fry in the back of this van, I cooked it in Anglesey with Matty, and my goodness, I probably cooked enough for about four people. So I'm not gonna be doing the same mistake tonight. I'm gonna cook the contents of that and maybe add half the bag of that. We're leaving the Ridge Monkey behind tonight. We are going to use the Van Gogh cook kit and use the big pot. We're going for the big pot tonight. I'm hungry, although I've been nibbling all day. I could really do with getting a good meal inside me for tomorrow. Oh, don't drop any chicken, Brendan. Straight in. Okay. That's it. A fair bit of chicken with this, though, to be fair. Right. Let's get all this in. It's looking nicer, that. That does look good. It smells good, too. And that is dinner ready to serve. Right, let's try it. Let's see what we got here. Fish and chips. Mate. Oh, look at that, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. You wouldn't, just like homemade. Fish, chips, 
He's got his very special, what was it, tartar sauce? Y yeah, yeah. Or is it May mayonnaise? Mayonnaise. 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 <laughs> right, ciao, I'll see you later. No worries, mate. Go get yourself warm. Mmm. Oh, that is nice. That is good. Mmm. It is getting cold outside now, though. So, now the heat's off, I think I'm going to do the same. Close the door, try and keep the heat in if I can. Got a couple of windows just open a crack, just for a bit of ventilation, and enjoy the rest of this stir fry. Yeah, 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 that dodo bird. Raccoons is cats. <laughs> that dodo bird, yeah. That's usually like in, it's usually illegal, and it's like in. Porn. So 16 of the 50 states say yes. That's yep. it, get that door closed, keep the midges outside. Um, yeah. It looks quite nice. Mine's a lemon cake. Right, I'm gonna go for the first bite, alright? Go on then. It's good. But not great. You can tell that it's end of the day cake. Oh, it's been there all day. Yeah, which is, you know, understandable. Yeah. We, we got them like, you know, 20 minutes before they closed. Yeah. But I would say maybe the icing's a little bit heavy. Yeah. But that's okay. But. Okay. Mm. Okay. So it's a nice cake. Yeah. So this blondie, well, it's it looks like very doughy to me when you look at it, doesn't it? The custard cream has to be crunchy. That's not bad. Mm. That's a good cake, that. Mm. Crumbly. A nice um, moist sponge as well. Mm. Well, look, I think I'm going to sign off here. I'm going to get myself tucked up in bed. N not together. <laughs> we can leave that to the imagination. <laughs> yeah, Steve's going to be in here for the rest of the night and he's going to be <laughs> <laughs> taking the middle aisle. But no, um, another great day in Pembrokeshire. Mm. I'm going to leave you with, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a half moon out there. Me and Steve are going to get our diesel heaters on. <laughs> Good night, guys. Say goodbye to Steve. And if you want to check out his channel, I'll leave a link below. Steve's Monumental Adventures. We'll be going Adventure. on a few more things. Yeah, we will, yeah. I'll see you uh, in next week's video, i.e. tomorrow, when we finish our explore in the rest of Pembrokeshire. Yeah. I'll see you next time. Bye.